The lymphatic system is an essential network for fluid balance, immunity, and the removal of large proteins that cannot be reabsorbed by venous capillaries. It is composed of lymphatic vessels, nodes, and specialized organs. When this network is disrupted, progressive accumulation of lymph in the tissues occurs, leading to lymphedema. This condition is characterized by chronic edema, inflammation, and fibrosis, and can be primary due to congenital malformations, or secondary as a result of surgery, radiotherapy, or infections. Lymphedema is progressive, irreversible, and requires early detection to prevent complications. The lymphatic system begins in the lymphatic capillaries, continues through collecting vessels, and drains into the thoracic duct, or the right lymphatic duct. Lymph nodes, located in key areas such as the armpits, groin, or neck, act as immunological filters. The pathophysiology of lymphedema is explained by Starling's Law, where the imbalance between filtration and reabsorption leads to retention of proteins and water. Diagnosis is made clinically using tests such as Stemmer's sign, an ultrasound or lymphocentigraphy in selected cases. Early identification is key to preventing progression to more fibrotic stages. Conservative treatment is the foundation of management and consists of four pillars, manual lymphatic drainage, adapted elastic compression, specific exercises, and skin care. Compression garments must be adjusted to the lymphedema stage and patient profile. In selected chronic cases, surgical techniques such as lymphatic venous anastomoses may be considered. It is essential to avoid invasive procedures in the affected limb and to educate the patient about self-care. With a professional and sustained approach, it is possible to improve quality of life and slow the progression of lymphedema.